So my first new request of everyone today is this. From the 27th of December, as we come out of the Christmas weekend, and at least until the end of the first week in January, when we will review this advice again, please go back to limiting your contacts as much as you possibly can. Please stay at home as much as is feasible. Uh, when you do go out, maintain physical distancing from people not in your own group. And difficult though it is, please follow this advice over New Year. Minimise Hugmanay socialising as much as you can. If we all follow the advice to minimise the contact we have outside our own households, we will help limit the spread of infections. So this is the bedrock of our plan for the immediate period ahead. However, while our core advice is to reduce socialising and stay at home as much as feasible, uh, the Cabinet's judgment is that we must also take some further steps to make the places where people might still gather as safe as possible. And that is why we are proposing some additional protections. None of these are being proposed lightly, but we do consider them necessary to help stem the increase in cases, safeguard health and protect the NHS, the emergency services and the economy while we complete and get the full effect of the booster programme. So first, from the 26th of December, inclusive of that date, for a period of up to three weeks, we intend to place limits on the size of live public events that can take place. This does not apply, let me stress, to private life events such as weddings. For indoor standing events, the limit will be 100. For indoor seated events, it will be 200. And for outdoor events, 500 seated or standing. Physical distancing of one metre will be required at events that go ahead within these limits. This will, of course, make sports matches, including football, effectively spectator-free over this three-week period, a situation similar to that in Wales from Boxing Day. And it will also mean, unfortunately, that large-scale Hugmanay celebrations, including that planned here in our capital city, will not proceed. I know how disappointing this will be for those looking forward to these events and for the organisers of them.